What do you want? No. Now. What do you want? No. Sit no. home no. for cleaners. What do you want? No. no. What do you want? Shit. Pay raise. It's another song for the work that you have done over COVID. Put yourselves at risk. Your families at risk coming into work. No support whatsoever. We will continue this fight for proper pay rise, sick pay, where you do not have to come into work when you are sick, and also free travel. Now, the only way we're going to get anywhere with any company is sticking together and a solidarity. This will be many, many a fight that we're going to have with this company. Where we have to stick together, nobody going to work, let them managers go out today and pick up the crap that you've got to do. We'll be back here tomorrow and the fight will continue until they give you a decent pay rise, sick pay and travel. When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Sick pay for cleaners! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Sick pay for cleaners! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Sick pay for cleaners! There are picket lines in Manchester, at Manchester Piccadilly. There are picket lines at Longsite Depot in Manchester. There are picket lines in Wolverhampton. There are going to be picket lines everywhere where the RMT has branches that organise cleaners for Italian service on the Avanti West Coast contract. And we know what this company, Italian Silvest, is about. It's a, a gigantic, global outsourcing company. It has contracts in France, in Portugal, in Africa. It originally comes from South Africa. The uh, Servest company is based in South Africa. This is a global company that is a parasite on public transport. They provide services for a fee and the way they run their business is they employ workers on the lowest wages that they can get away with and on the worst conditions. So we see that the only way to solve this problem is to get rid of outsourcing companies such as Italian Sylvest or ISS or Mighty or Voith or all of the other contracting companies that you might have worked for in the past or you might have heard of on other train companies. We want to see the back of them and we want to see the workers you, the people who work for Italian Sylvest on Avanti West Coast contracts, employed directly by the railway companies, so that you're entitled to a proper railway pension, so that you're entitled to proper railway trade union collective bargaining over your pay and your conditions. And the fight that we're engaged in today is the beginning of that fight to get you the same rights as the train drivers, the guards, the station staff, the engineers, all of the other staff who work for the railway and who are directly employed and who enjoy all of those conditions. And you're not the only ones who are in this fight. There are cleaners working for train operating companies up and down the country who are involved in the same fight as you. Not maybe today, but they have been in recent weeks and months and years. If they want us to keep the public safe, if they want public transport to be safe, it has to be hygienic. It has to be clean. Yes. If you want any demonstration of how important that is, look what we've just come through in the last two years. A pandemic that has killed 150,000 yes. people in this country. Yes. And what is public transport if it's not a vector of transmission in pandemics? So it's absolutely essential, not just for you, but for the public, that cleaners are treated like human beings, that they're paid a wage that allows them to live decently, 
We're demanding sick pay, and, we're, and that means that when a cleaner is sick, they get paid the full rate that they would earn if they were at work, 100% of their wages. We're not going to accept you being punished in your pocket, your family being punished because you contract an illness because of the job you do. Brothers and sisters, that's what we're doing as a union, and you're not on your own. So you might be the advance guard here at Euston on the Avanti West Coast contract for Italian Sylvester, but you're not going to be on your own. So good luck to you. Solidarity from your union executive committee. I wish you luck and we'll all be together on many picket lines in the next few weeks and months. So I hope it's a little bit warmer than this one when the spring comes. Thank you very much.